Edna and Jeff's Hindley home was their castle for a decade, but since last summer, its fortress has been gradually weakened. The cemetery wall on the other side of their garden fence fell down, and with it, much of their fencing. And since then, it's been an ongoing battle against the elements to keep the fence up. I felt exposed. I, mean, I felt as if all my privacy had gone. I had people looking in, looking through the fence. Then dogs coming in when people were parking at cars, and just to when the dogs out. I've had children in my garden. And of course, the fence is it's getting a bit old now; it needs replacing. But we're a bit reluctant to replace it until the wall's been uh, uh, repaired. The cemetery wall is the responsibility of the council, who Edna says she's contacted several times, though they've either said the replacement is too expensive or they've simply ignored her. Well, I'm a bit disappointed, actually. Really disappointed. Especially when you're one of these people that have the race paid up to date. The only thing they've done is put that, that, that wire mesh fence around, you know, but it, it's... It doesn't improve any privacy because they can see right through it. And to the Glovers, this is more than just a question of privacy. With seven grandchildren and a three-foot drop on the other side of the fence, it's about safety. I don't feel very secure at the moment. Anybody could come in here. We've had the shed force. We've had to put the kids' bikes up there. You just get a bit sick of it. We've no heart to do the garden. I mean, we had a lovely garden before, but was just no heart. Wigan Council today told Channel M that they were aware of the problem, but that they had no record of Edna's concerns. They say they're reviewing the problem as part of next year's budget and told us that they would send an officer out today, though Edna and Jeff say there's been no sign of one. The Glovers say they'll continue to try and put pressure on the council, but for the time being, they're trying to make the most of a gloomy situation. I've seen Peter I've undertake a fall down the grave in a hole before the funeral. <laughs> but he did manage to keep his top hat on. <laughs> it was true, that. Nina Warhurst, Channel M Today.